Did we go? Uh, yep, let's go right here. Oh, thank you. Sure, Jackie Coppell, News Nation. On the subject of the speeches, whether it's in Governor Walls or uh, Vice President Harris, do you have any, can you talk about any details uh, in terms of the policy we're going to hear specifically, not just the autobiographical information? Yeah, I don't have anything further to read out insofar as policy previews. I mean, listen, I think what you've seen uh, since the launch of, of this new ticket beginning on July 21st, you've seen both the Vice President and the Governor uh, fan out across the country, introduce themselves uh, to the American people, to the voters that are going to decide this election. Uh, that's included rallies. It's included, uh, you know, uh, the bus tour that we've done across Pennsylvania. Um, so we'll continue to do that. But what you've also seen is the vice president begin to lay out uh, her vision for how she wants to move this country forward. It's why last week she went uh, to North Carolina to unveil some of the first planks of her economic agenda uh, that's focused on lowering costs for the American people, right? How do we uh, lower grocery costs, take on meat processors, how do we uh, lower the cost of housing for people through uh, a number one building more housing but also assisting first-time home buyers, assisting renters, uh, how do we actually have a tax code uh, that's fair for the middle class, the vice president wants to give uh, the middle class a tax cut versus Donald Trump through his across the board tariffs, uh, wants to uh, raise taxes on the middle class to the tune of $3,900. Uh, we've already seen economists point to Donald Trump's economic policies whether it's his across the board tariffs or everything else that he wants to do. Uh, that would serve as an inflation bomb. Moody's says that his economic policies would uh, likely cause another uh, recession in 2025. And so uh, we are going to run on that economic contrast. And you'll see the vice president and the governor as they continue to fan out uh, from Chicago over the course of the next uh, 76 days here, continue to expand uh, on their vision, expand on their agenda, including policy details. And we're excited to share those with the American people. Um, uh, but it's going to be, whether it's on the economy, whether it's uh, on our fundamental rights and freedoms, I think the contrast is going to be very stark and very clear uh, for the American people to see, uh, no matter whether it's your economic interests, whether it's standing up for the rights of Americans, including the rights of women, uh, whether it's standing up for our democracy and our fundamental rights in this country, uh, there's only one ticket that is uh, fighting for the American people on all those issues, and it's uh, Kamala Harris and Governor Walz, certainly not Donald Trump. Let's go down here. 